Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can extract different parts of a text string. So what I've got on the screen is some part numbers in column G. And I want to go through how I can pull different bits of these from that list. So I've got type one, type two, type three, type four there. So four different examples of how to get different bits of that text string from column G. At the top there, I've got all the formulas that I've used. So you can see those. And I've got two columns over here with the search feature and the length feature. Give me some numbers, which I'm going to use in these formulas. So first of all, let's have a look at this one, type one, which is using the, the mid function. So if I just copy these down and then we'll start again from scratch. So you can see how it works. Just paste those down there. All right. So I want the the country and the code at the end. So the mid function will let me do that. If I type equals mid, press your tab key to get the function on there. So you're clicking on the cell that you want. You do a comma and then you have to tell it where to start. Now I've already got the search function over here where I can um, select a number and I'll talk through this one in a second. So if I click on that, it's gonna give me a start number. And then if I do a comma, I want to click on this number, which is a total length of the cell in there. And if I just tick that, let's see what that comes back with. So that's come back with the same as that there. So how has that worked? Let's have a look at this search function. In the search function, you've got function name itself. And then what you're looking for, so I've got the letter U because the codes here, the country codes are just US, UK. So I can search for the U and then it's looking at cell G6. So G6 is the cell where the part number is. And then if I click into the formula there, the start number I put one. So it's starting at one and it's looking for that. And it's telling me that that U is in the fifth position. So Z, one, two, three, four, the dash, five, the fifth position is the U. That's what that's doing. So that's how that works. So then you can just, um, let's just pull that down. And it pulls it in for me, all the information. So that was that one using the mid function, which is great. Now I could also do that using this function, which is a bit more involved. And I've added the len and the search function in there. So at the moment I've got them separate. So I've just quickly gone through what the search function does. Find function similar, but it's not case sensitive. It is case sensitive, whereas this isn't case sensitive. See, I've got a small U there, but it's still found that even though it's a capital. Now, the len function is very simple. It just tells you how many characters there are in a string. So that's looking at G6. It's telling me that there are 10 characters in that string. So that gives me those two numbers, 5 and 10. So what I've done with this one is I've put the right function in. So let's have a quick look what the right function does. If I just do it on this one there, if I just come out of the way a minute, if I type equals right, just click on that. So that's the text, number of characters, comma, say, let's say four characters, and then just tick that for a minute. And it just gives me that sort of number there. That's what it's doing, four from the right, four characters from the right. So that's what the right function does. So let's have a look at this one. So I'm going to type exactly the same, and I'll get the same result. So it's just two different examples, really. So I'm going for this one. I'm going equals right, first of all. Press my tab key to get the bracket. I'm clicking on the, the cell I want to look at, comma. So it wants the number of characters. This is where I'm now going to use the, the len function. So I'm typing len and I'm clicking on cell again, closing that len function. And then I'm going to minus, so that's going to give me a figure of 10. I'm going to minus the search function. So I'm typing search, pressing tab to get that up. And I'm looking for the dash comma in cell that cell now you don't need the actual start number if you leave it blank it will be okay but i'm going to put it in there as a one and then i need to close two brackets at the end like that so i'm doing exactly the same as i've got there clicking the tick and i get exactly the same information pull it down i double click it down and you get a match so that's one and two so that's those two i could also use um the replace function let's say i want to get rid of the country code in the middle there i just want the z42 101 
Um, now I could do it all together, but I've broke it down separately. So let's have a look at this one. So go for replace. So I'm doing that. I'm typing equals replace. Pressing my tab key to get that up there. So I'm clicking on that comma. So the start position I want to be clicking on that. So it's still searching for that. So that's the dash comma. And then the length I want it to replace is that length comma with a quote quote. And then I'll click the tick. And it just gives me that Z42 with a dash. Pull that down. I'll double click that down. And it fills it in. So what they've done there, last one, is they've used the concat function, which is a fairly new function. You can use concatenate as well. Um, and the write function. So I want the I want this to just say Z42101 or whatever it is. Z42101. So I'll do that one. So if equals upon at press my tab key to get that so i'm clicking on the the cell i want to link so it's this cell that's the first part comma then i want the right press my tab key to get the bracket for this cell the right comma and then i'm just going to put a three in there the last three to come off there close the bracket on that Close the bracket on the concat function, click the tick, and it pulls off that. And then I bring that down again, and then you can see how that works. So that's just looking at some different functions that will pull text strings from a paragraph that you might have, or in this case, part numbers that you might have. And then obviously you can join some of those together to make it a bigger formula and do it all in once rather than step by step, a bit similar to what I did there. But hopefully that little example is of use for you. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.